Welcome to the Better Together podcast, where we look for ways we can more effectively serve the Lord and more effectively minister to the body of Christ. Today we have here with us Mr. John Brummett. He's the CEO of the Free Will Baptist Board of Retirement. John, thank you for stopping by to be with us today, my friend. Thanks for having me. Hey, you guys have a new initiative, the Reinvest Podcast. Uh, tell us about this podcast that you're about to start. Yeah, so last year we started with the Reinvest Conference. Uh, with the Reinvest Conference, we were, we were trying to help new or young ministers who are just starting out in the ministry. Uh, with that, uh, we we're trying to help educate them on things that they probably wouldn't have faced before, like dealing with finances during their ministry. But also one of the things that we find is most ministers that burn out of the ministry, usually it's one of their greatest things that causes them to leave the ministry is, is their personal finances, uh, either not managing their money well or uh, having debt or something like that help contribute to them actually having to leave the ministry. And so we tried to come up with a way of helping uh, put, put investment advice and put invest or not advice, but investment training back into our uh, denomination to help, them combat that and so that's kind of where the idea started with this uh and then this year with all the COVID-19 and stuff and not being able to host the conference and stuff we still wanted to be able to help and so we thought well, what would be the easiest way of getting the information out so that people could listen to it uh, and hear it on their own terms and so we decided to go in the avenue of a podcast uh, to try to help and, you know, give the educational information out there and you can listen to it whenever you wanted to. Oh, that sounds great. There's all kinds of things we need to know then. And what you're saying is you guys on a fairly regular basis will have some of that material where you can listen to as you're driving to work or, uh, or exercising or whatever one might be doing. Yeah. We're going to try to keep them fairly short. Um, Anytime it comes to finances, uh, most people have an, a, 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 the time that they can really give to it is about 10 or 15 minutes. And so we're going to try to keep them within that range to keep them so that, you know, oh, well, I really wanted to know about the difference between an immediate annuity and a fixed annuity or something like that. And just give a, a little short explanation so that, you know, you can educate yourself on on those types of things, you know, without wearing yourself out with it. Um, when it comes to listening to podcasts and stuff, a lot of times I find that if I'm listening to one seven or eight minutes in, if it's not holding my attention, I'm just going to turn it off. And so we want to keep them fairly short and, but still give the information that's going to be beneficial. That's great. So I suppose uh, you'll have guests from time to time as well that, uh, help share about particular information? Yeah, we, we've already contacted several people that are interested in helping us out with this. Uh, so it won't just be me talking to people uh, and them getting bored with me, but we'll have guests in, uh, people from that actually work in the, in the ministry who have seen these things come to pass. And so uh, dealing with capital campaigns or, you know, how to mentor uh, the teens in your youth group and things like that to kind of help get them prepared. Uh, you know, we think that if you're, if we're reinvesting into the ministers uh, as they're coming up and, and coming through their, their training, then it's going to help in the long run for the denomination as a whole. And so not just worrying about, you know, who's here now, but who's coming down the pipe and just helping them to be on solid ground whenever they're coming through. That's great. Now, you all already have some helpful information. Uh, usually in the one magazine, you publish an article that sometimes it goes at some of this information. You also have a Facebook site um, that people can get information from. And I suppose you'll put links on your Facebook site to your podcast as well. Right. Most most of our stuff that we're, we're putting out now, um, we're we're putting out more and more stuff that is not de not really designated as retirement education. And so this reinvest will, will actually launch its own site and it will be linked to ours, but it will have more things like, um, you know, 
capital campaign information. It'll have things like uh, the business of the church and how to how to do those type of things. And we've been writing articles like that in one magazine for a while now, uh, but this will give us a place to house it so that if, if you're wanting specific stuff to just retirement, you can still go to our board of retirement website, but then you'll also have a link to this other stuff that's kind of outside of retirement, uh, but still deal with finances and things like that. And so it all kind of plays together, but it's an easier one-off that you can go and look at and find the stuff that you're looking for. So to find this podcast, I need to subscribe to, or I need to like your Facebook page and, and be on the lookout for when it is posted to subscribe to that particular uh, entity and, and just watch it and share it with friends and so forth. Right. Once, once everything is, is locked in and stuff like that, then you'll get the regular updates. Um, we're going to try to keep them fairly consistent fairly on a, on a scheduled basis so that it's not like you're going to be overloaded with them. We're not going to try to put out like two or three a week or anything like that, but we're going to try to keep them out on a fairly regular basis just so that, you know, it's those simple little one-off things that you can listen to. Uh, if you had a question about something, you'll be able to search through the archive and find those topics and stuff. We're going to try to label everything to keep them sorted out so that you can uh, find what you're looking for without having to, dig through a bunch of stuff to find it and stuff. And so uh, we're, we're trying to build it out as comprehensively as we can, just so that people are able to get that, the information that they're actually looking for without having to search through a bunch of stuff. That they don't, they're not necessarily looking for at that point in time. That's great. Well, we are looking forward to it coming out and thank you for putting this valuable resource out in the, the hands of our folks. And I can see it being valuable for pastors and church leaders, but, also, even some of our folks in our churches that are leaders, uh, a lot of information that would be helpful to many of them there. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to make the topics as broad and as, as like we're, we're gearing it towards ministers, but anybody that's a leader in a church, whether you're a Sunday school teacher or you just lead, you just help with the teens on Wednesday night, uh, there's going to be information there that will be beneficial because the, the thought process that we have with it is if you make your members stronger financially, then it makes your church stronger financially, which makes the denomination stronger financially. And so, and all those, all being strong financially opens up opportunities uh, that we wouldn't have otherwise. And so really opening up opportunities is what this podcast is all about. Uh, opportunities to share the gospel in places we haven't been before. That's great. Well, thank you for doing that. And, Thank you listeners for tuning in today. We encourage you to find the reinvest podcast, to like it, to share it, to tell others about it within your church, within your various ministry communities. And just remember every little bit counts. Well, thank you, John, for joining us today. Thanks for having me.